That's a monster. Okay, we have a new spot. Or, well, we have a new area. Not sure if we'll find the spot. And apparently we have a pretty good hike ahead of us. So, I was told there is a old cellar hole out here. But I was also told it could be flooded. All I know is I'm supposed to go south from where I entered. That's it. So that's what we're doing. Hopefully we'll find it. Oh. Those are stacked. So, as you can see with the terrain right here, it is definitely heading downward. You can see there's erosion. So that's what I was kind of warned about the further we get down. I don't know. Always, always an adventure, so that's a good thing. All right, I'm gonna stop filming for a few and move. Okay, this is the stretch that was of concern. There is a bit of water in here, but as you can imagine, if we had had enough rain, all this could be pretty, pretty flooded. But if we can get to the other side without getting our feet wet, we should be good to go. And then it's looking for the cellar hole. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Oh, there is some rock. Look. Hopefully I can find it on the exit out. Well, it is rough terrain, but I do see wall over there, so we are getting somewhere. This should be the the wall. You know, sometimes these uh, folklore locations don't add up, pay off, come to fruition because it's not what the person who told you observed. But that's a pretty hefty old wall. It is actually improving a bit. There's one pile of small rocks. Yeah, this has potential. Well, that might be it. Got a bit of a hole with some rocks. Only one way to find out. Pottery. Now. Yeah. 
and that's it. So, the good news, it definitely is an old home site. The bad news is, it's dead quiet. It just took me 20 minutes to lock onto that rusty nail. Well. Ugh, I don't know. The other problem is the nails are hot. What nails I can hear. That's what we're dealing with. That's all we're dealing with. Nope. Clean. Not even any animal iron oxen shoes. You know, iron rings. It's not even any junk metal. Just nails. And I am 40 minutes out where I began. I have no idea. Well, I guess there's no other thing to do but start walking. So like I was saying about folklore cellar holes, when somebody who does not metal detect tells you about it, you have to check it out because you never know. But it's not on a map, so at least I can map it. Here's our magnificent wall. So far, both sides of it, the terrain is pretty, pretty rocky and pity. At this point, all I can do is walk the walls, look around. Maybe we'll find something else, some groomed land. Don't know. That figures. The wall ends. But this is either a cart path or logging ruts. It does go back up to where we came from. It's a way. The old road. This is definitely further down the brook from where we crossed way up, but you can clearly see that. I can only follow this for so long or I'm going to get myself way out in the direction I kind of need to go back in.
Well, that was a long way in between walls. It doesn't look like people spent much time out here. That side's just wetland. Well, it might be a one in a million shot finding something out here, but we do have wall. So we will walk and swing. Ooh, look at that. That's old. Well, we found something with actual slight improvement to the land. You know, you keep walking, it's either gonna improve or get worse. Shotgun Willie. Definitely running out of space in this place. And I can tell it's been logged and uh, definitely the ground doesn't look natural underneath where it was logged. Well, I hear somebody mowing their field, which means we walked ourselves right out of this place. That's a not Thursday for you. A lot of walking, but it was a great walk nevertheless, and you know, I've been trying to find spots, new spots. We did find a new spot, just nothing there. But we have to check off every block. It must be done. Just remarkable when you can't find anything but nails. That's the way she goes sometimes. And I still enjoyed it. I hope you did too, and let's see what happens next time.